They're called bell peppers, but I don't hear anything. Anyway, let's get to slicing them. Hey everybody, my name is Dennis, and my wife and I are on a mission to help people realize that just because disease is common doesn't mean it has to be normal. You have a lot more control over the way you feel than you think. And part of that control is learning to slice bell peppers so you know how to cook for yourself and know what you're eating. You can make nutritious food without depending on other people. With me, I've got three bell peppers. These are large sweet peppers and they come in a few different shapes. The green one you can see has four sections and four dimples right there. Orange one has three sections and three dimples. And this red one pretty much just has two dimples and two main sections. You actually cut them all pretty much the exact same way. So I'm gonna demonstrate on a couple of them, starting with this red one. I'm gonna use my large chef knife. This is my favorite knife for cutting peppers. And I'm gonna grab this pepper, stand it up kind of on its side with my left hand, hold it and keeping my fingers in kind of a claw position to keep it away from the sharp edge of the blade, right? I don't want my fingers like this. I'm gonna cut them off, keep them like this. They're not gonna cut off. I get to save my fingers. No cutting off fingers here. Yes, take that knife. Whew. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and slice this. And sometimes that outer peel can be kinda, or the skin of the pepper can be a little bit tough. So just kinda gently slice, find a real sharp part of that blade. I think my knife needs to be sharpened. Just kinda cut down there. Now, when we look in the inside, we'll see we got all those seeds in there. And what we're going to use of this pepper, we don't use those seeds. We're actually gonna use just the the outer flesh here. So it's hollow on the inside. And now that I've cut my first cut, I kind of kind of see what I'm doing. I'm gonna just go ahead and cut right along those seeds for my next piece. Turn it, cut it again. There's a nice big cavity in there. And then get one more cut. Perfect. And now I've got some nice big chunks of pepper. There's maybe a couple straggler seeds. I'm just gonna knock those off. I'm gonna tap them out. Got those out of the way. And now this core right here, I'm just gonna cut that little bottom part off because this is good flesh for the, uh, the, the pepper. It's good to eat there. If I have a lot, maybe I'll trim off these sides just not to waste anything. Now, this can just go in the compost or you can throw it away, right? Wrong! Do not throw it away. If you wanna put it in your compost, I guess whatever. I mean, do whatever you want, I guess. If you wanna throw it away, throw it away. But I love to save these. I put them in a freezer bag to save for making chicken broth because this adds so much flavor, but it's not really good to eat plain. And if you're a little bit intimidated, but kind of curious about how to make your own chicken stock at home, it is super easy. And I have a video detailing how you do it. So check it out. Back to slicing the pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and stick these out of the way. And now I'm gonna take this right here. And if I'm gonna go for like a fajita style, then I'm just gonna go ahead and slice these along. And notice I have the skin side down because it's gonna make it a lot easier to break through that skin. This side is very uh, tender. This side's a little tough, so it's kind of hard to cut that. It, it still works, but I just find it's a lot easier to do it this way usually. Just go ahead and slice this again. All right, look at those perfect slices. Hmm, really good. Now, if you want to actually like dice some uh, some peppers, if you want them smaller, do the exact same thing, but kind of keep everything in place. That'll work. Kind of line everything up. Use the side of your blade maybe. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing, but crossways so that I end up with really small pieces that I can use as a dice. Perfect. And then one more. If I want these to be extra small, I can do my dice like I just did, right? I'm gonna cut these into my sticks and then turn them on their side. Cut them into this dice. All right, and then get all that clumped together make a little room on my board. I'm gonna use what's called a herb technique with my knife, make a little pile here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and chop this which way. And it, it does help if you don't have these other piles on here, you can use a little bit more space on your board. Just kind of clean off your knife carefully, form your pile back and just go for that herb technique again. Do 
Do that a couple times and you are gonna have a very fine dice that you can use if you wanna hide this in maybe a meatloaf or something like that where you don't want big chunks. This is perfect. Awesome. And with the red pepper cleared out of the way, I have one more thing to show you. I'm just gonna demonstrate what happens if you just cut this pepper straight in half. You can kind of see the cross cut and understand it a little bit better. So sometimes you'll see this pepper, there's not a whole lot of space on the inside. You know, you gotta notice that that core needs to be removed. You can snap that out of the way. You know, not too many seeds. So you just give you a different idea of what the inside of different peppers are gonna look like. It's all pretty much the same, even though this has four sections, like I said, almost the same as that red pepper that only had those two dimples. I'm just gonna cut this core out real quick. And then once you just uh, clean out any seeds and stuff, you maybe open it up a little bit. Now you got these peppers cut in half and they are pretty much perfect. Maybe we'll just trim that open. They are pretty much perfect. You wanna do stuffed peppers. Peppers are super easy to work with. Once you know what you're doing, there's no reason to be intimidated by them at all. And now you can go ahead and cook whatever it is you're gonna cook. Follow me on Twitter, Dennis Scratch, or uh, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more kitchen tools, nutritious cooking, and healthy living. And that's about it.